since probably the late 80s. Now, if you've watched my channel, you know how much I adore Kathleen Woodless. Love her, love all of her work. The book I have today by Kathleen is A Rose in Winter. Now, this book is just Again, when I look at my shelf and I try to say what book, what books are at the top of my, my list on my shelf? What do I love the most? Kathleen Woodless's books always, always top that list. She, she well, was a talented writer because, you know, sadly she has passed away, but her books are just so wonderful, so wonderfully written. The one that I have today, again, is A Rose in Winter. And just look at that cover. If you watched any of my videos, you know I'm a cover freak. I love covers. This book cover is so wonderful. It really is. I love it. And even on the back, you know, it's got the, the little one there, the little picture there. You, they don't make them like this anymore. They really don't. I think it's just one of those things, you know, as time progresses, things change. So... You know, this cover, I just adore, just just adore it. But we'll not talk too much about the cover. Let's talk about the book. The book is absolutely one of my favorite um, stories. Based, you know, just so hard to pick one of my favorites from her. I just, I love them all. So I would, you know, but I love this one because of the storyline. It reminds me more of like the Beauty and the Beast kind of thing. You know, it's it's just that wonderful storyline. Again, Kathleen Woodworth develops characters and she develops plots at such a level. I mean, it's just such good writing. There'll never be another Kathleen. But this book first came out, I believe, in 1982. Um, so it is a vintage read. And that's why I like to pull these off my shelf also because... Because these are vintage reads, you know, some people may not know about them. You know, they may not, you know, because you, you're not going to go to the store a lot of times and find these books. Sometimes you can. They'll reprint them, but a lot of times they don't. Um, so you have to go searching on eBay or, you know, wherever else to find some of these books. But this book follows Ariana Fleming and Christopher Seaton. Now, Ariana is or Ariane, should I say? I don't know why I said Ariana. Ariane is from an impoverished family, and she's going to be auctioned on the auction block for marriage. In comes Christopher Seaton. Now, he's an American that comes in, and there is a problem with her family that causes her, even after she meets him and she's attracted to him, she not going to marry him because she feels he done he has done her family wrong so it kind of follows that plot line um to make a long story short not give too much away um christopher wants her so what he does is because she said she'd rather marry a monster than him he kind of dresses himself up as and creates this other identity and he covers his face and everything and pr pretends to be um, disfigured from a fire or, you know, whatever with a club foot and everything. And so he buys her at the auction. Um, they, they get married. And it kind of develops from there. Again, I don't want to give too much away, but gosh, what a wonderfully written story. I absolutely loved it. With all her work, I loved it. Um, but Ariana and Christopher, to me, had, you know, as with, again, with all Kathleen's book, I, I, books, I just don't know how to, um, how to find a real favorite. Um, but again, I think things like A Rose in Winter, they, it does get overlooked, you know, with some of her other more well-known books out there, you know, as with Ashes in the Wind, which I've already, already talked about. 
I feel like they kind of, you know, get overlooked. But gosh, they're such wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stories. And this one is another one that's just such, such a wonderful story. And I absolutely love it. I love this book. And if you've never read Kathleen, you really should. If you like well-developed plots and characters and historically accurate, well-written books, this, this, this is for you because there will be never be another Kathleen. There will never be, to me, she's just way up there on the scale of, um, of writing in this genre. It's just so wonderful. So I wanted to share that today, this book off my shelf. Um, because it, it's a, I've read it many, many times, as with all of her books. And I just figured, you know, hey, this is what's on my shelf. And maybe you don't, don't know about this book. And uh, if you don't, and you've read any of her work, go get this one. And even if you haven't read any of her work, go get her work. You will absolutely love her books. Now, I'm starting to ramble again, as I do when I'm... Cause I get on this thing where I just, you know, I just love the book so much and um, I just want to talk about it and keep, I wish, again, I don't like to give away plots. I wish I could talk about more of the things that happen in the book, but I hate to give that away because I don't like that either. I want to read the book and I want to be surprised and I do not want to know how it ends or what's happening in the book. I want to read that for myself. It's like an adventure. So with that, I'm going to go, because again, I'm starting to ramble, but hey, Kathleen Woodworth's A Rose in Winter, wonderful story. You will love Ariane and Christopher, and I promise you, you won't regret reading this book. So with that, I'm going to go, and until I see you again, hey, happy reading. <laughs>